Hello guys, it's Captain Alex Mason here. We're playing the next mission, Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1, Mission 4. Um, give me a sec. I think we're in 43. Yeah, Desert Fox, February 19th, 1943. I think. Yep. I'll get to the characters later. Actually, I'll get to them right now. So, you start off with Private Roland Roger, obviously, because you're playing as him. Um, Private Victor Denley, who's right in front of you in the passenger seat. Um, Sergeant Glenn Hawkins driving. Private Stephen Kelly, Private Hurst, and Private O'Brien. Private Hurst will be the one that Glenn Hawkins yells at for standing or running in the middle of the road. Looks like we're building the whole division now. What's going on, Sarge? Twenty-six got their asses handed to them by Rommel and his damn Africa Corps. We're going to get it back, right, Sarge? Something like that, Greg. Get off the damn road. As I was saying, Robert Panthers rolled over the 26 and took the pass. For some reason, they pulled out afterward. Richmond's sending us up to take it back, this time for keeps. Panthers? Our stores don't stand a chance. We got anything bigger? We have Shermans, but for some reason, they're not, not here. Much. We managed to scrape up a couple of half-tracks for the 75s. Let's like back in Oran. Jesus, Sarge, that ain't making me feel any better. Well, Vic, we gotta do something in fast. When we stop, grab some mines from the back. We'll leave a little surprise for Rommel. You son of a bitch. Why the Why are you dead? Yeah, we're actually fighting Germans this time.
work out there! Let's find what's going on! Oh, damn it, I didn't look at the guy's name. There's a minefield around the bend that's keeping us from advancing. Why don't you send the engineers in to clear it out? That's where you guys come in. Area's too hot for them without an escort. Sergeant Hassler and his boys are waiting by a footpath that leads to the minefield. Place is lousy with German, Sergeant. We're getting used to that, Max. Appreciate the help. Okay, you heard him. I want you guys to escort those engineers. Just provide support. Don't do anything stupid. I need you alive. So, in case you guys didn't, hadn't figured it out already, this kind of, like, the way the weapons look like and how they handle, it's much like Call of Duty 3. You guys from Fox, glad you can make it. Let's get this done. Okay, so, we all remember him. He does die. He sounds more Canadian than he does, uh, American. Holy crap, the Zuby Shore put up our stewards. I wonder how well that works against the wrong way. They're not that great. Oh shit, I need some help. Take one more hit, I'm dead. There better be some health kits.
Can I get some help? Sniper! Get down behind these rocks! I think I know where he is. Stay put. I think I got him! We have to do something about that sniper. Grab that spring wheel. You're a better shot with that thing than I am. Nice shot. Right in the balls. Fuck. Well, now I get to get. Now I get to show you the prime example. Ow! You fucking son of a bitch. for a sec. Okay. That was a close call. I'm checking for ticks because uh, the ticks are back and, you know, nobody wants those, eh? Brian and Kelly. I knew I could count on you two. I had it covered. Germans you had it covered? The other side Excuse me. Who is the one on the Browning M2 over there? Me. Forward scouts have discovered an abandoned village in the hills above the pass. Route through it to take you directly to our captured artillery. Kelly, go with them.
Ah, jeez. See, oh. Get that out of my way, dumbass. We gotta cover Private O'Brien. Don't worry, he's protected by plot armor. taking fire. Crap, I need health.
Good to see you guys in one piece. That was some real nice soldier in there. Thanks, Sarge. Looks like you boys got the Desert Fox retreating with his tail between his legs. Time to head back to camp and get a hot meal. All right, well, that's all I can do tonight. So that was the Desert Fox. Got a few more missions left. Actually, more than a few. I think we got at least, like, ten more left. Yeah, still. Uh. Ooh. So, um. Yeah, I got all this other, like, junk. Just quit. Because I already did this, so I don't necessarily need to save it. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, crap. It's like, I'm not getting the dun 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 dun. I guess I gotta have to go. Oh, god damn it. Well, I better go. Oh, whoops. With the world once again thrown into war, the U.S. 1st Infantry Division is called into service. With regiments dating back to the American Revolution, it is the oldest continuously serving division in the United States Army. Known as the Big Red One for their distinctive arm patch, the fighting first that sailed from New York to the United Kingdom in early August 1942 to begin their training for the Second World War. Under the watchful eye of Major General Terry Allen, the division commander, the fighting first was kept busy, preparing for their first taste of combat. Across the sea, British and German armies clash under the scorching heat of the deserts of North Africa. Amidst these hellish conditions, General Bernard Montgomery and his British 8th Army has been able to hold off Rommel's blitzkrieg attack through a war of attrition. But the deadlock needed to be broken, and the Big Red One, fresh from their training, waited eagerly for their call to action. Meanwhile, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and American President Franklin D. Roosevelt, along with General Dwight D. Eisenhower, devised an amphibious assault directed at the Vichy French-held territories of North Africa. Codenamed Operation Torch, the invasion was to start in late October of 1942, with the 1st Infantry Division embarking for the Algerian coast. Unsure if the German-occupied French forces would attack U.S. troops, bright American flag armbands were to be worn as a deterrent. However, this was the least of the Big Red One's worries, as Rommel's battle-hardened Africa Corps were not about to give in to these young American soldiers without a fight. Yeah, so these I unlocked. I forgot that they won't play them unless I actually played it fresh. So I'm done now. I'm, I'm going to bed. So, yeah. I'm Captain Alex Mason. I'll see you guys tomorrow.